right, we're going to talk about uh, weather, politics, and money. Uh, this is a local grain co-op run by Landis, and farmers are bringing their corn and soybeans in here because it's the harvest. And while the futures prices for those crops are up, here's a big reason why. Lower supply, uh, supplies. What was supposed to be a bumper crop in Iowa is not a massive wind event. In August, called a derecho, wiped out more than a half million acres of corn after one of the driest summers in a long time. That was followed by rain in September, which was too late. Well, back here is where we had two, uh, two grain storage bins. Dave Struthers figures the derecho cost him 180 grand. Now, subsidized crop insurance will cover some of that, but not all. But also, ethanol demand is down because people are driving less in COVID, and there's still a trade war. Yeah, this is probably the worst chaotic year we've ever had. You throw COVID into it and all this other stuff that's just made uh, the turmoil seem unending. We've seen anywhere from, you know, 10 to 20 percent that that has been affected. And I'd say at least 10 percent that uh, that will have severe or, or complete elimination of, of that crop. Now, as bad as it sounds, farm incomes are actually supposed to be up this year. Up. Why? Aid from the Trump administration. The USDA has committed up to 30 billion dollars in coronavirus relief to farmers. And that is one reason as the president come here, comes here this week, while Iowa is a toss-up state, support among farmers is polling at 75%. Guys, that's higher than it was in 2016. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.